sure you clicked on this video because of the title, How to Meditate for Beginners. Yes, it is that time. I'm going to be sharing with you my tips, my tricks, and what I like to do to prepare myself to go into meditation, why I do it, and the different things that helps me to ground myself during meditation. If that's something you're interested in, you clicked on the right video. So continue watching and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so before we get started with the actual act of showing you everything I do to literally go into my physical meditation, I wanted to talk to you a little bit so you can get a clear understanding of more general of what meditation is. Meditation is a way to gain control over your mental, your thinking, what you allow in and what you allow to leave, right? So in meditating, what you're doing is taking the discombobulated thoughts and the thoughts that have you vibrating on a lower energy, you take them and you remove them and cast them away. You're learning in meditation how to control your thoughts, which also controls your paradigm. A paradigm is the way each individual sees their life and sees relationships and things that they correspond with in their life. I am a mom. I am a wife. I am also an entrepreneur. I am a sister. I am a daughter. I hold many titles and I'm pretty sure you do too. And because of the different titles you hold, there's so many thoughts, so many things that we have to regulate and and, and allow to go in and, and be filtered. And, you know, it's a lot of things we deal with. And because of that, we need to be able to control those things. Why? Because when you are in control of your thoughts, you become in more control of your actions because you think before you react. And we have to realize that no one in this world should be able to control us in such a way where we are out of control. And out of control means that something has occurred to take you from one level to the next. You see how it went down? From one level to the next. We don't want that in our lives. Now, as I said before, there's no age, there's no gender, there's no size or anything to meditating. I am loving the meditating. I am dibbling and dabbling in yoga as well because I think they kind of go hand in hand. In hand. So before we get into this, I want you to understand that this is something important, not just to say I meditate, but it is something important to your spiritual well-being and being able to control the vibrations that you vibe on on a daily basis. Some people are really low vibing people and some people are high level vibing people. And that's a good thing. And this is where we want to be, right? Sometimes life can have us like this, but meditation helps to balance it all out. So just wanted to throw that in there before I move on. This is just a quick video on how I meditate and how I do things. I hope it's helpful to you and I will continue to go deeper into it. But for right now, this is what I think is best for those that are beginning. And as you see me do the um, act of beginning to prepare for meditation, I will be talking you through it and telling you why I do it. So enjoy the video. All right. All right, guys, so this is my space. It is a little corner in my bedroom, and I use this corner to meditate. Now, I like to have my room dim, like darken. I don't like to have bright lights or anything. I like to do like a candlelight when I meditate. So this is my space, and let me show you what I put down. So then I put my cover down and it's crazy because what I do is I kind of create a focal point. As you see, the corner of the wall is where I focus myself and I purchased, well, my aunt purchased the statue for me that I so love because it kind of reminds me to stay focused. So let me show it to you. I love it. I love it. I love it. And that, guys, was purchased at a family dollar. It was on a clearance because it was kind of botched up at the bottom, but I painted it and fixed it. I was so excited about getting this. So, yeah, I put that there. And then the next thing I do is I get... So now that I have my sage out, I like to burn that in this area for a little bit. And that is just to get any negative, any negative energy, which are considered 
positive ions. We want the positive ions removed and we want to bring the negative ions in. It is the opposite when it comes to energy. So I use the sage to cleanse myself before I start to meditate. I got these sages from Five Below and you get, I think, two or three in a bag for $5. Now, that tea light candle is my best friend. Guys, don't sleep on these tea light candles. These will burn for about five hours. So they are great emergency candles as well. But I like to burn these to create a focus and a focal point as well in front of the statue. Now, once I've got that done, it is time to dim the lights. I love a dim space when I meditate. So now it is time to choose the music. So you're going to hear a little bit of what the music sounds like. And we're going to move on to the next part of meditation. All right, guys, so we are getting ready to position ourselves and the music is still playing. And then we're going to move on to me explaining to you exactly what is going on in this part of meditation. I do this to ease any tension that I have going in and I use my hands to elongate my torso so that I can get air flowing from my diaphragm up and out without a problem. And so I do deep breaths in and out and as I do my deep breaths in and out, I am inhaling peace and peaceful thoughts and I'm exhaling things that do not resonate with my energy or what I'm feeling and that I want to release and so after I do this about a good 10 times I focus myself and I just continue to let the music play and I just meditate on whatever it is that I'm trying to think about the more that you do this the more that you will be able to control your thoughts. A lot of people have problems because when they sit and meditate, they say, oh my gosh, so much stuff is coming through your brain. You know why? Because the energies that are not good, they know what's going on. And they're trying to stop you from gaining control of your thoughts to keep your positive energy at bay and to keep it leveled out so that you can have that that mind frame and start to change a paradigm of what you think about on a daily basis and control the thoughts that you think about but we have to remember a lot of times what we what we take in as far as social media and different things like that have a lot to do with our energy and in our brains being all over the place so we have to learn to control what we allow into our bodies into our mentals and all of that and meditation helps you to start grounding yourself as you start feeling the positive vibes from this and you start feeling good about it it allows you to start doing better thinking better and being better in life in general so that's the great part of meditation controlling your paradigm controlling what you feel what you think how you want to feel you are in control of that and there's no specific size, there's no specific age, gender, or anything. Everyone can meditate. I teach my daughters the same thing. Everyone can meditate. I bought these covers from Mexico years ago, so we all have them. But this just creates my focal point, and I kind of focus at the shadow of the head of this. You see how it makes like a pyramid? I love it. So yeah, guys, this is how I meditate. And if you would like for me to go deeper and talk more about my meditation and what I do, um, I will definitely do that. But black girls do meditate and it is be a beautiful thing to be able to control your thoughts and what you allow in. I hope this was helpful. If so, thumbs up and share this video and I will see you guys in another video, guys. This right here, I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Later, Katus. All right, guys, so as you can see, I had on stretch pants and a black t-shirt. It was for video purposes because technically you don't have to wear any specific outfit or any specific attire. Just make sure that you are comfortable. 
The whole purpose of this is to be comfortable in your place, in your peace, and not have to worry about anything else. Trust me, it is not that serious. Sometimes I come and I have bra and panties on. Sometimes I might sit there and I may have just a t-shirt on. It is up to you. It is your special space with your creator and your spiritual moment to get your mindset at bay and leveled and to create the peace you want in your mind. Don't let anyone tell you should pose a certain way, look a certain way, wear a certain thing. That's It doesn't entail all of that. It's you being comfortable with self to learn how to control yourself, your thoughts, and your mental. I hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure you share it and make sure if you are new to my channel that you become a member of my family by subscribing to the channel and I will see you guys later gators.